The brain's incredibly complicated. And despite the fact we've been studying it for a really long time, there's a lot about it that we still don't know. So about 15 years ago, I read these papers from a scientist, his name is Rusty Gage, and he wrote about how molecular changes occur in the brain and they may be uh, involved in forming memories. And so I decided to tackle that. We found that these changes do occur. Each neuron in the brain has slightly different DNA instructions that other cell types don't have. And those instructions are not being passed on to offspring or your children in this setting. And because they're unique to the brain, we're interested in why. So what do those changes do? Are they involved in memory formation? Do they support how the brain works? And so with the support of the CSL Fellowship, I'm looking at Alzheimer's disease, looking at samples from patients who've donated their brains to research to say, are these changes in DNA more common in Alzheimer's disease than in healthy people? My hope is over the life of the fellowship is that we find the changes in neurons from Alzheimer's patients, and then potentially we could start looking at how we might interfere with the process in order to perhaps restore cognitive function in patients. Longer term, the bigger picture is just the basic question you know, of whether you need changes in the DNA in the brain for the brain to work. And that's a question that could take us decades to prove if that's true or not, but that's what I want to do.